My name is Cushman Anthony, and I live in Yarmouth, which means Janice Cooper is my representative uh, in the legislature. I am a retired lawyer and mediator, as well as a former member of the House of Representatives some 25 years ago, so I don't, don't have any compatriots still here except for John Martin. Uh, and I'm speaking today in opposition. I'll just summarize the first three paragraphs. Um, I don't believe that, that these corporations need any fin financial assistance from us. Um, and I spell out some of the reasons. And I, one of the things I say there is General Dynamics acknowledges that Bath Ironworks is one of its most profitable divisions. That's what I've read. I haven't heard that directly from them. And I think that's worth exploring in your work sessions. If Beth, Bath Ironworks is indeed one of the most profitable divisions, then again, that suggests they really don't need the help of the taxpayers of the state of Maine. Um, I also point out that, uh, well, it's principally, if not totally, it is totally a military contractor, and I don't think the state should be involved in supplementing military contracts. Those come from the federal government. You're in the business of looking after the people of the state of Maine. I don't think they need this, and I hope you'll decline. Um, uh, my third point is about the total workforce at BIW, I believe, has declined during the period when they were receiving tax breaks from the state of Maine. That's what I've read. I, again, that's something to check out. Um, they may have been able to, uh, through accounting and so on, show that they used the money you were giving them appropriately. But if their if their tax if their employment force is declining, that suggests there's no point in trying to get them to increase it if they're just going to keep it declining. I suspect most of those de declinings are because of increased automation, but I'm not sure. And fourth, I want to really stress, Maine needs those tax dollars for a variety of other purposes. You know, as well as I do, that the state is in the throes of an opioid epidemic. And you've heard about the infrastructure needs. You haven't heard here, but uh, we are not able to give our state's poor and vulnerable populations what they need for a decent chance at life. There are many, in short, there are many worthy legislative proposals which will end up on the appropriations table. We must ensure that, our, that there are adequate funds available for the most pressing of those needs. Passage of this bill would diminish what we can spend on other more important things. This is really a question of priorities. Knowledge derive, my knowledge derived from having served in the legislature in the past tell me that tax breaks for BIW do not rise anywhere near the top of the list of priorities facing this state. I don't think BIW is about to close up shop and go away um, from what I know. Um, it is true that my religious and ethical views supplemented by my community work in recent years and inform me as well uh, to come to you with this pitch. Human needs should come before a measure such as this. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, I am Jason Ron. I'm, I vote in Lincolnville. I'm one of nine defendants standing trial uh, for First Amendment actions at the so-called christening of the latest Aegis guided missile destroyer that happened in Bath last year. I want to tell you that General Dynamics enjoys billions in what I'll call taxpayer generosity every year. Just last year, General Dynamics enjoyed over 12 billion in U.S. taxpayer generosity. Additionally, your legislative predecessors and some of you have enabled General Dynamics to enjoy over 200 million in taxpayer generosity from Maine and from certain of its communities over the years. Additionally, uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Kentucky legislators have enabled General Dynamics to coerce millions more in 
taxpayer generosity from their estates over the years. Additionally, just as in this very room, General Dynamics advocates are attempting to coerce 60 million more in from Mainers, so are General Dynamics and their operatives in the Connecticut legislature attempting to squeeze 150 more uh, in taxpayer generosity from that state. Far from being some benevolent all-American corporation proud to provide good jobs for patriotic Americans in return for their taxpayer generosity, General Dynam Dynamics operates in 46 different countries. And one wonders whether the, the legislators in the 45 other countries bend over backwards for General Dynamics as eagerly as Representative DeChant, Senator Vitelli, and the rest of the proponents of this bill expect you and Maine taxpayers to do. This bill is no good for Maine. As one of the poorer states in the union, we don't have 60 million more in taxpayer generosity to spare. We need to invest in healthcare, education, infrastructure, cleaning up the Kennebec after decades of industrial pollution by General Dynamics, etc. I ask you to show some integrity. I ask you to show some courage, show some vision beyond the short-sighted prepackaged vision provided by U.S. and corporate war makers. Mainers do not want or need corporate rule, not by Nestle, not by General Dynamics, not by any of them. Man cannot afford this corporate welfare tax scam bill. Thank you. But we're getting down to the short list now. Uh, <laughs> uh, Natasha Myers, Mayers. Where are we at now, Waterville? Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> I live really close. Yeah, I know. But you're my <laughs> constituent, you're mine. <laughs> so, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> I, I just want to speak for a minute. As a mom, I know that incentives can change behavior. So why not help incentivize a transition from military contracts and destroyers and U.S. endless war policy to, the, to di diversify manufacturing? Why not help them? you know, by incentives from the state to build wind turbines and solar energy and public transport and more sustainable technologies. That's the kind of incentives that I hope the state would create. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is John Morris, and I live in New Gloucester. And I'll be brief. Uh, I just want to say that I think that when this session is over this afternoon, that you'll all realize, if you don't already, that uh, this bill is nothing more than a $60 million gift for the General Dynamics Corporation. They don't need it. They don't need $60 million. I don't think they need 60 cents. They're washing money. And I also think that they're going to do with Bath Iron Works what they're going to do regardless of whether they get a $60 million tax credit or not. So I think when it comes right down to it, when, when it comes time to vote on this bill, that you really have to ask yourselves one simple question. Are you going to vote for corporal, corporate welfare, or are you going to stand up for the people of Maine? Thank you.